Alberto, so wonderful to see you after so many years. And your companions too, of course. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He's instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and fighting. Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It would be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't you? Here's our pal, Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody.
Another one bites the... Else wants some. <laughs> Ugh, where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylv, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, the mists are clearing. I can see light up ahead. In the world are we? What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. <gasps> oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh, ah, oh. oh. like that. And there's no need to look so disappointed to see us. try to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. My name's Michelle. 
I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright, it. It's just I thought my Kai was back and I got all excited. Wow, I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway, who's this Kai you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea, where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder... Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiancé, will you take us down to see the Queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a sudden urge to stretch my legs. Let me ask you that again. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you. If you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the east of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smouldering emotion. Oh, oh now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <laughs>
Another one bites the dust.
here we are. The Crystal Kingdom of Sniffelheim, home to the famous Blue Orb. Ah, it's a fair wee while since I've visited, but it warms my heart to be back. <laughs> that must be about the only thing that is warm around here. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. <laughs> What's this? What the? The gates are covered in ice! Look, they're frozen shut! How strange! Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. What about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? Hmm. Ah, you have a point there, lassie. They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an orb in there we need to get to. Well, if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back.
Who else wants some? <laughs> Another one?
a seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> pals! Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. seem a little less promising than I expected. Where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here.
Hey, <laughs> hey, 